Hi, welcome to the channel Akila Wonders, where I travel for fun and for work, living outside my Nissan Rogue. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook for more adventures. Okay, we are going to talk about staying cool in the car. I'm going to give you a quick product review of some of the things that I have. And I also want to kind of talk about my battery situation as well. So let's make this a car battery. No. Let's make this how I power my gadgets that keep me cool living in the car. <laughs> I don't know if I could do thumbnails yet. So <laughs> that's a geeky thing to do. Okay. We are going to talk about what powers my... What powers my electric components in the car and that would be we're going to start off with the battery pack it is s-u-a-o-k-i i saw a youtuber have this small battery pack and she did a quick video on it this was affordable at the time i had got this last year when i started car life and amazon had a 25 dollar uh, off on this one and it costs 150 bucks because it is 150 watts so after all the research i've done with power battery banks it seems like you have to pay a dollar per watt right give or take if you don't have a promo code and my future battery i'm hoping if i can afford a, a jackery 1000 maybe i'll invest in that just to have over amount of what i need but i think i can do van life with what I have been doing with car life with just a 500 power bank battery. I like Jackery, but we won't talk about that until we get to that point where I'm making those decisions. But right now for Nissan Rogue Van Life, this is what I have. It's 150 watts, it cost me $120, $25. Got it off of Amazon and it has been doing me wonders. It is obviously charged through the car because that's where I charge it but you can charge it through an ac adapter as well i don't have the box i, I didn't do an unwrapping last year when i should have so pretty simple it's fully charged i charge it in the second cigarette lighter that i have in the armrest here and it has four usb inputs so you can input uh the usb here and it has two AC inputs, um, inputs are out. I'm not sure the terminology, I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> we have two AC, one that has three plugs, one that has two, uh, just two. And then to turn it, oh, and oh, one more feature. It does have a vent, right? So it has to vent. I don't smell anything. <laughs> I don't smell anything. So I have it in one of the baskets that I showed you guys in the um, car tour video. It does have a flashlight. I'll show you. And the SO1. So that's a good feature just in case anything would happen if I'm getting stuck in the wilderness. And then um, how to use it is you turn it on and then you plug in your devices. Did I show you this? Uh, DC if you have DC <laughs> sorry it has four DC outlets as well and you turn it on pressing the middle button and it doesn't have any type of like obviously it doesn't have any panel here so you have to do your best to you know know what your your what you need your usage and what else okay so you you turn it on you plug in your devices and it works now this is what powers my cell phone and my watch. I charge my watch, my cell phone, my tablet, and I can charge my laptop with this, right? Okay, perfect. Now, how do I stay cool in the car living on my Nissan Rogue? And I have three products I want to review. Well, there's a fourth one, but it's in Arizona and it's going to get donated to Goodwill. <laughs> And that was a USB powered fan. It was like one of those desk fans. 
this regular you know look like a regular small fan I'm going to probably have to put a clip in <laughs> so that's the fan and I didn't like it because the way it was built like it's really just for a desk and the car has all these angles and I can't sit it anywhere and always falling over so it was not a good fan I could hang it somewhere and maybe that's why I haven't got rid of it because, you know, if I need it for van life, then I can use it. So maybe I'll recycle it later on. Because I didn't like that one, I got this one. Now, this one does not have a name. It probably was made in China. It's called Twin Turbo Personal Fan. It's powered 2 watts. Uh, power uh, needs and... It doesn't have any buttons because it's a touch, it's a touch, uh, I guess you would call it, what do you call it, touch screen? Not a screen, but a touch. Uh, touch power and two speeds, low and high. And you can't adjust it. So I want to kind of show you how to use it. So I have it plugged in here. Turn it on. And then you press the touch. See it turned on? Nope. Okay. That's on high. Okay. Right now, what just happened, I touched this, and whatever touches this bottom thing right here, will kick it off so now you can understand it's causing me frustrations because i have so much stuff in here and even if when i'm sleeping if i move and i touch it and it will just <laughs> you know so it's a little bit too what do you call it sensitive the little power button is too sensitive and it always kicks off in the middle of the night and then i wake up and i'm hot because i thought this thing was on and it's not on but it's really good for power consumption so the pros is it's small, it's USB powered, it's um, sleek, right? And it can do the job. It can do the job if the touch part of it, the power button wasn't so sensitive. So I cannot use this to sleep every night. I can use this to sit in the park and I can have this and this, bet, no problem. So last night, my first night here in the desert, and I got hot. I got hot because I had my 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 winter blankets on um, under me, and I it just was not a good. <laughs> I was sweating, not happy. So what did I do? I go to Big Five, and I go to Big Five, and I get me this. Now I've seen this on YouTube pages before. Remember, I have a PhD in YouTube. <laughs> and I didn't want to get this because I didn't waste money on the dub the D batteries, 6D batteries it takes to power this thing. I didn't want to spend it, even though even everybody who had this fan says that it will take a while for those batteries to drain because the power consumption is low on this one as well. I go to Big Five, and I, every time I see a camping store, I always stop to get little gadgets that I can't find on Amazon or YouTube University that I don't know about. And when I went in there, I was just like, okay, this fan, I must get this fan. I already know that it's a good, sorry, I already know it's a good quality fan, and I should get this fan. Now. The guy who was at the store, which I will write a review online, was so nice enough to first check to see the wattage. It doesn't tell you the wattage on this. So I'm going to tell you the wattage. And the wattage is 120. Okay. Wait for the description. <laughs> I think it was 120 to 240. That's the wattage, right? So it's in the range because this is 150. The I didn't still was not sure. I was like, please, can you is any way I could test it on my battery on my battery pack that I have? And he was nice enough to open it gently, open the adapter gently, and test it out for me in store demo 
just in case it wouldn't work and I didn't want to have to return it, drive back, waste gas money, and do all that other stuff. So he did demo this for me, so I know it's going to work, and I'm super excited, and you'll see why. You'll see why. We go like this. We plug it in into the DC output. No, no, scratch that. No. We plug it in into the AC output. You could choose the one with two, or you could choose the one with three prongs. Then we plug it into the machine. It has a stand so it could fit car life. I could hook it up. <laughs> it's a big, there's a small one, but the small one doesn't come with a, a, uh, a power without batteries. It doesn't come a uh, power adapter. I wish they would make that one because that was so perfect size. This one's a little bit bulky for the car, but guess what? It's coming into Chris 2.0. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see if this little power battery pack I have will fuel this one and you already know it does because I already told you that <laughs> I'm so excited okay we go this way we turn it on here so now the whole thing is on and that's the the little plug button you see it okay <laughs> so that way if you don't want to power this aspect of it and you just want to power the other two you don't have to turn on this turn it on and then now we turn on the fan fan has three settings off high low it's so quiet it's really like this one is louder this one I won't keep on the night but this one is just enough and the low blow so well that thing is my new favorite toy because it's gonna keep me so cool I do have the Arctic Air, and we're going to have to do a separate video on that because I need to freeze. Well, it's suggested that you, you take the filter and you put it in cold water or you freeze it. The only problem with that is because the car is cotton seats or whatever material the car is. It's fabric. I was going to say fabric, not cotton. Sorry. And the bed is foam. I don't want moisture in the car. You know, there's, there's a lot of fabric in the car and I don't want the moisture. So I'm kind of like weary on using the Arctic air in the car. And then because the review said that you're just going to have a moisture. This feels like wet air. <laughs> what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I don't think that's a thing. I don't think that's a thing. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> so I'm excited about this. The Arctic air is going to be the different different video i'm excited about this i get to hang it okay let me hang it on chris and let me show you what i mean i didn't make my bed yet so as you can see this is how i try to have the car set up during the day I told you guys that a million times and that's how it's going to be hanging in the car at night time so i'm so stoked about that Obviously, I will try to find something where I could hook it better or it can sit up better. But this is going to be a game changer for me. I need the temperature to come down a little bit. And the seasons is, is about to change and the temperatures will come down. But even at 70 degrees with this fan, that's all I need. I'm not even an AC person. I'm moving you guys. I'm moving you guys. Okay. I'm not even an AC person. No lie. I don't do AC. Even when I had an apartment, I don't. I never had it on and I was in Dallas, Texas and I still never had it on really. So I'm really excited about this because this is probably what I need and I'm going to tell you guys to get it. They're not sponsoring this video. I don't have enough followers yet and I don't need enough followers. I need you guys and myself because this is for myself. I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited to have this video because it was like literally just bought it just now and that is it i'm done <laughs> this is how i'm going to stay cool in the car in this desert in this 80 degree night time <laughs> weather and i'm so happy that i stumbled against that so i'm going to say a tip is 
go to all every time you're driving around and you see those sporting goods stores or anything that sells camping just go and, and window shop and you'll never know the little things that you might see that you never saw before or maybe you could do in um in person demos you know if they're nice enough like this clerk was so nice and i'll definitely put a review that you know you can try out things because amazon is awesome right and youtube is awesome but to touch it feel it use what you already have it's so much better in person that is my tip for today i am excited okay so i'm at anytime fitness and the gym is good the the bathroom was clean so i need to go take my do my little run and take my shower and go uh <laughs> go to bed because i'm cutting um the time close okay good night quick video bye okay so it is 12 a.m and i am so late for bed i'm gonna be so tired tomorrow but i was talking to one of my friends so you are hearing the low setting of the fan and i am gonna go to bed the battery was fully charged and let's see how long the fan lasts all night so i'm gonna get up around the alarm is set for 4 45 and i'm on the outside of the emergency room on the road on the road um to the back of the hospital i already saw like they patrol by car twice i think every hour or well twice in an hour since i've been sitting here so once every 30 minutes they do a circle around with the car and they didn't even see anything because all my windows obviously are covered with black on the outside and then the it's covered and then it's covering the front so i'm good for now so let me uh, give you a quick update in the morning and see what the battery is looking like also the battery is charging my phone so let's see that how long it's going to last with my phone being charged and the fan on low it feels so good i am so happy with this purchase all right see you in the morning good morning it is 5 30 in the morning and i had a good sleep even though it was short because I went to bed really late. This thing does work. And so I was making sure that I documented, obviously. I was making sure I documented the time. And the temperature was about the same. So like 89 degrees. Almost 90 degrees. I'm still sleepy. So at 3.43 in the morning... I don't know what woke me up, but something woke me up and it was like a bang. But again, I work in the, the hospital, so I'm going to hear noises, especially outside the emergency room. So I think it's one of the worker trucks. And then I noticed that the fan was off, but I wasn't hot. I was still cool. So I was like, oh, the battery must have died. I woke up this morning and I just wanted to just make sure that the battery was depleted to give me a range. And my phone i saw that my phone wasn't on um, charge it was like five percent so i thought again it must have pleased the bad i must have had depleted my little battery pack no for some reason it uh it kicked off all of the pieces like it must have fell it must have fell and these things was loose so I just checked it and it wasn't even plugged in. So from what, from 12 a.m. to 4 o'clock in the morning, this is how much battery both things. I'm not even sure my phone was really plugged in at all, but let's just say it was. And this is how much battery it used. So. So it's five bars. So let's just say five times 20 is 100. And that would give us, and it's down to three bars-ish. No, no. Yeah, three bar, three and a half bars. I think it would go the whole night. But I think... um. 
gonna have to try again and and the weather is gonna come down so i might not need it all night and obviously let me tell you i would pay good money for this to have a setting that can read the temperature and then turn shut off automatically just saying that would be ultimate because again i don't need the fan if it's not hot then and i didn't even want to i almost was inclined to put um a blanket on this close i was almost inclined to put a blanket on but i didn't want to and then get hot and again it was just like the cold air on low setting the cold air over my skin it was just like i was little 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 bit chilly but it was still a good breeze so i am so excited to have this addition in, in chris and it's going to make car life so much easier okay so guys look out for updated product reviews that i'm going to have and thank you so much for joining this journey thumbs up to the company that makes that fan still a good fan still good still a good product and i'm and i'm excited when i spend money on good product that is get that fan <laughs> all right see you in the next video